Welcome back. You've joined a small group of riders from the Hog Auckland chapter and today is the day of our monthly chapter ride which is a longer distance ride and this one is leaving from the Z Bombay up, uh, hills travelling to Okorori Hot Springs Hotel. Now it's a run that's uh, been split into two halves. Our road Captain Greg has already, we've been on the road already for nearly a couple of hours um, and had a break at Parongia at the Persimmon Cafe and now we're leaving Parongia heading cutting over through to uh, towards Cambridge. We've got a sporty travelling with us. Joe's on a bike with a slightly smaller tank so we're having a freshly scheduled fuel stop in Cambridge so that she can fill up now. Leaving Parongia and heading over towards Cambridge Way we're heading along this Hams Road. Haven't been on this one before and it's a great ride and particularly so with the uh, sunshine all over the place. Really happy about that. We had left some pretty dirty weather behind in Auckland. It was very wet um, when we left. Pretty much everybody had full wets on as we were heading down the uh, Bombay Hills into the Waikato and uh, pleasantly surprised after about half an hour riding we realised yeah it's going to be an okay day if the weather forecasters were correct and clearing later they said and boy they got it right so by the time we got to Porongia we could all of us take off our wets we didn't need to put them on again for the rest of the day we are riding in perfect conditions so everyone's pretty stoked about that nine bikes with 11 riders a pretty happy crew good size number two for traveling around because there wasn't so many bikes that it became unwieldy and uh, we pretty much had line of sight contact from front to rear throughout the ride um, the group was pretty much able to stay together and in contact with each other throughout which also makes it much easier to manage a ride when there was corner marking it was only for a very very short period of time and they would be all together again and traveling along um, now here we are, we're starting to close in on uh, Cambridge now, heading through uh, Lamb Street, which is kind of pretty rural and flat around here. And then we did our fueling within Cambridge, then travelled along Shakespeare Street, and then dead ahead of us is um, Tedale Road, that takes us up, and eventually joins McCum State Highway 1, and then we travel up there, and that's where the, uh, the good part of this particular section of uh, road happens. So what have I told you? I think the ride itself we're scheduled to go to the Okorori Hot Springs Hotel. We're going to have lunch down there. Greg's booked a table for the group. Um, but we have got an unscheduled Photoshop opportunity or photo opportunity here I should say. We're going to be swinging by the Hobbiton uh, movie set farm which is uh, pretty uh, pretty great idea because it's kind of on the way anyway and uh, heading up this route through Karapiro Road it eventually leads to a road called um, Buckland Road and that travels all the way through to the Hobbiton movie set where the tours um, are made from. Now we're now in the Matamata region and this is where the filming for the well, first part of the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit movies series was uh, created and they created the movie set in a uh, private valley uh, that was scattered out by the director Peter Jackson and I think the story goes he was flying helicopters around the country trying to find the place that he visualized as being the perfect location for little hobbits to be having their home and as he was flying over Matamata here he said these are exactly the kind of place that I have visualized in my mind that these little fellas might live and he bought a valley outfitted it for the movies it fell into disrepair after the movies uh, had finished it wasn't quite they didn't know quite what to do with it then they invested some money to bring it back to the full uh, movie set quality I suppose and now they're running tours from it and it's been a very successful venture. I've been on a couple myself with family and friends. We didn't actually do a tour today. We just rode it there and took a photo opportunity because there is a big picture frame there. I've got a photo of the most of the riding group um, tagged on at the back of this particular video. But uh, yeah, this road along here, Buckland Road, is just amazing. 
nice car driver here who let us all go past because there's not too many opportunities to overtake along this road. This is one of the few straights, so we could uh, just all slide past quite easily. And travelling along now, I don't know if I'm being uh, unclear. Where we're going to is like a bus station, I suppose, tourist shop bus station. We're not getting to the actual movie set itself. It's a short bus trip away from the area that we're heading to, and it's up a private road. You can't just, you know, take your bikes along there or your cars. You must buy a ticket and board a uh, tour bus and have a guided tour through the village, and then have a, afterwards have a drink and a bite to eat at the uh, the uh, movie set pub, the Green something. I've forgotten the name of it, but it's uh, definitely well worth to see makes a difference of course if you're familiar with the movies, at least the first in each of those series because that spends a little bit of time in that village uh, itself. Anyway, we are starting to head up now, getting a whole lot closer through this beautiful rolling green countryside, getting closer to our particular destination. I was initially thinking to put all of this, this day's chapter ride into one video but it would just be too long, at least by my standards. And so this is going to be split into two pieces. I've included this part here because I really enjoyed this uh, Hobbiton section, heading through the uh, rolling green fields of uh, Matamata towards the touristy destination, let's face it. And for a couple of reasons, well, like I said, I've been to the uh, area before, but I haven't ever been on this road to get there. I've always come up from the other side from Matamata, and this is, uh, is an absolute delight. Uh, especially with the weather being like it was. As you can see, we had some great weather, which we were really needing because it was pretty jolly wet in Auckland on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and it was a 50-50 dice call whether or not we would in fact be making the ride, but Greg, the road captain, made the call on 7.30 Sunday morning, said, yep, we're going to do it. Forecast is clearing for later, and, you know, by goodness, the, goodness me, the forecasters definitely had it right. So here's the last signs telling us that just over the top of this hill is the uh, place itself, our destination. We're going to peel right and park the bikes around the back, then walk down and take a photo on the front lawn by a big old touristy sign saying that we're at Hobbiton, just for the uh, one for the scrapbook. And on this note, I'll leave you to it as we park the bikes. Wish you safe riding, take care out there, ride safe, have fun. See you next week.